Okay, so let's say you are doing the Project Zomboid Build 41 multiplayer and you want to set up a dedicated server. These are the guys that I use all the time whenever I do a Zomboid server. It's called Ping Perfect. They're really simple to get to. Yeah. Ping Perfect Zomboid server, you type that in, they'll come right up. Super easy to do. You come in here, you know, whatever your case is here for me, it's the states. So I click the states, you can select your billing cycle, all that good stuff. Uh, the location, uh, some of them are extreme performance. That's extra money though. Uh, so you get your RAM. I, I suggest at least four gigs. I mean, I, I haven't had any trouble. Anytime we've run a server and there's like more than 20 people on, then you know you start needing some more, but you like at least four to keep from it being crappy. Also, it's only a buck 32 more get the NVMe, do yourself a favor, it's better. Um, and you can even offset that cost if you agree to do branding on your server name. Boom, they take a dollar off right there. So uh, CPU, that's up to you. Uh, support, I've always done normal support and they get right back to me. So these guys are pretty cool. Um, you know, then you hit, uh, don't forget you gotta do your host name. So you put like your server name, you know, your server name here. Don't worry about the pink perfect thing, they'll add that and it'll look like this uh, afterwards. Or something like that. Like it'll have like a buy pink perfect thing in there. Now, I don't know if this is still true. You can take that off later. I don't think that they like should take the dollar back or whatever, but don't be a dick. You know, just, you know, they're, they're letting you do it. So you just listen from an example earlier, you just pop a password in there. Uh, can you continue on super easy setup very quick setup too uh it goes in your shopping cart bada boom bada bing you know and you do that and you go to checkout but i already have one so i'm going to remove that item and we're going to go to this right now uh, so when you do get it set up it's going to come up like this you're going to have a, a page here it's like so you want to set everything up you go to your login to control panel and they'll send you a thing, like say so your email notifications. If it doesn't like, it logs in automatically for me because I'm a, uh, I've been in, going in and out of here, but they'll send you a little thing over here, the email notification to tell you how to do it. Uh, let's see here. So your big things, the only things you're really going to mess with, unless you want to like back up and restore your world and stuff, but this is build 41 multiplayer is kind of wonky because like they said, it's not fully done. It's beta. You're, you're probably going to lose your world whenever they update. Uh, unless you stay in legacy because so now they're at 41.61 but they have the old uh, i'll show you so build 41 build oh gosh another update come on guys okay uh <laughs> let's, let's see i mean i guess that's a good thing but so they've got all these versions here your legacy 4160 so if you set up a 4160 server and now that they've they've been putting out updates so they're like 4161 who knows this update might be 62 or something but if you want to stay at the 4160, you need to go back to this legacy here, okay? And that's the legacy 41 underscore 60. Remember, remember that because I'm about to show you what you have to do. For this one, you're going to need the build 41 multiplayer because we're going to stick on the latest one and uh, throw them some bug reports and stuff as it comes out. Uh, so let's put that down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and update that, see what we got going on. Hopefully that won't mess anything up too much here. All right, so we go back here. Let's go ahead and launch the game. We'll have that playing in the background for a little music action. Um, so my server right now is stopped, right? Super easy controls here. Stop, start, all that good shit uh, stuff. And so you, the main things you're going to be messing with are your configuration files, which you can also find in File Manager. This is just an easy way to get to them. Your Command Line Manager and your Steam Beta Update, all right? So when you first get your server, it's going to be 40 point, what is it, 5.4 or something like that. It's going to be built 40 automatically. What you got to do is you got to go to your command line manager and it's going to be on default. When you get it, you're going to want to set it to build 41 multiplayer. And you, you just click it. It'll probably restart your stuff. If your server's running, it'll stop and start your server again. But click build 41 multiplayer in your command line manager. The next, you go to Steam Beta Update. And now for me, when I got in, it was automatically in like that. Um, so they make it super easy. You just hit Execute, 
and it's going to start updating your thing. It, it takes a little bit, but not a super long time. But while this is running, you'll see like, it, we'll come back to it. It'll go down here. But while this is running, I'm going to go and show you some other stuff here. So that's updating the server right now, right? Uh, let's jump in here. So let me show you some of the file manager stuff. Boom. Right? Okay. So all you need to mess with when you're in here is the Zomboid folder. So while that's running, I'm going to show you uh, how to do some stuff here. So remember I said the configuration files are also in your, in your uh, folder manager, your file manager. Th these are they right here. So you can edit it, boom, right in through here if you want to. Okay. And that, all that is, if you're not used to setting these up, when you go into your Zomboid game um, and you hit host, this is going to ask you to do some stuff here, right? It's server test by default is what it's called. I always just leave it at that because it's not like I'm running multiple servers here, right? So you can go into your edit, your settings, right? And you can go through here and set all the settings you want, okay? Just set them to however you like them. Hit save, right? back and then you don't don't do host game here unless you're trying to go through steam and do a co-op thing but once you've saved everything go to your file folders c users whatever your username is um and then look for zomboid and then you want to go to server so see it's the same thing as let me go back in here literally the same files See, server, Zomboid, server, it's the same stuff, right? So what I do is, I like to go through this part here to do my configurations. So then what you do is you just open this up. You can open it up with um, Notepad, you know, whatever. And then just Control-A, select all, Control-C, copy. And then go in here. So that was server test, right? Server test. So I'm going to go to server test. Hit the text editor. Uh, it must still be updating. It is. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on that because I don't want to mess anything up. Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. So it's still updating there. But basically, what I was gonna show you is how easy it is. You just you go through these. You definitely want to do spawn regions too, because in the uh, the default thing, it's like it'll spawn you in the same location every time. These refer to files in the game that have different spawn points already set up depending on what town you're in. So it's better to have that. It's more more vanilla-like. Uh, this is still going on, okay. Shopping cart, I don't need that. Uh, so, so now here's my server, as you'll see right now, it's not responding because it's doing stuff. Yeah, everybody's on 4161, okay. So let's take a look here. Still waiting for client, no problem. We're gonna go back, let me back out here real quick. So at some point, this was moving faster last night. I think it's because that they had just, uh, they just did their thing and updated stuff recently. Oh, so remember what I was saying about, um, let me put this over here. So where that said build, you can't, uh, I can't move this. Give it. Where that said build 41 multiplayer, if you want to keep your server or, uh, or if you want your server to be just the 4160 that they had out, where do I go? Right here. Um, what you do is you go to betas here, right? And you want this where it says, you'll type in legacy 41 underscore 60 instead of B41 multiplayer. And that, that's the same is true if you want to go with any of these. Not the thing on the right, but the thing on the left. So, what was it here? Are you done yet? Okay, so now this has been getting stuck on verifying installation for me, but once it gets to this part, See, it says success app fully installed. Like it, it was been getting, um, it wasn't getting stuck yesterday when it was just 4160, but for whatever reason for 4161, it just like stays at verifying installation. I just X out at that point. 
once I get to verify installation. And now we go back to our server here, right? So now if I go into this configuration file, there's nothing there. All right, we'll give it a second. This is good. So this shows you how to troubleshoot something if something's not going right. But it should pop up in here pretty soon. Where you at, dog? Hmm. Come on, you can do it. So watch, if I try to start this, I bet it'll mess up right now. Any day now. No, it's not messing up. Did it do it once I started it? It did. Okay. My world must have been empty. So that happens. Just go ahead and start it, I guess. Now, remember, like I was saying, you go in here, right? You grab your... Yes, yeah, reload it. So I got server test. Server test, right? I had set my so the settings I wanted inside Zomboid. Let me back out of here. And then I opened them up. Server test, control C, control A, control C, control A, control V, save. Boom. And you do the same things for these ones, right? Like, so the spawn points thing, remember I said it was important? You see that? It's always going to spawn you in the same place if you don't change this. So we're going to go to spawn regions. Remember that's in C, users, whatever your user is, Zomboid server. Open that baby up with notepad. Control A, control C. Control A, Control V. Okay, save that baby. Boom. And your sandbox variable, this is the thing that controls all your stuff, like how strong the zombies are, how loud cars are, all that stuff. So don't forget that either. Grab, grab that. Control A, Control C. Control A, Control V. Save it. Put a boom. I'm going to restart it just because I had uh, made some changes. Now, just so you know, once you get your server running, if when you stop and restart your server, it wipes some stuff, right? So there's like local, I guess it's just like local variables that get rewritten every time the, the server starts up, but everyone's going to lose their safe houses. So you're going to have to reclaim your safe house. You'll still like everything, all your stuff will still be there with the exception of bugs that come up because of build 41 multiplayer. Um, and then, you know, doing their bug fixes, because this is still beta, so you can't blame the devs. Like, they're doing what they got to do here. Um, so when you restart your server, just remember that people are going to have to reclaim their safe houses, right? So once your server starts up, see this PID number? If that says PID zero, something messed up and it's not working. You need to go and try and do that again, right? But as long as there's a PID there, at the very least, it's up. So let's make sure that it's given us the, oh, hang on. I've got this set to port 16.3.11. And it, um, by default, when you're in there, it'll give you, uh, what is it, like 16.2.61, I think? Where's my port? Yeah. Okay, no, no, I, I, just have to... <clears throat> I bet you this guy, though, I bet you he's set to 16.2.61. No, is it to 16.3.11? Let me try to refresh. Oh, okay, there we go. Boom, 41.61. So let's log in here. Let's make sure she works. That was a little rockier than it usually is. Usually it's a lot smoother, but, I mean, we still got the same result, so no harm, no foul. Uh, it looks like it wipes my world. But like I said, when you when you have to, whenever they do an update, if you update your stuff, it's probably going to wipe your world. So let's just make a random dude real quick here. He's going to be a carpenter because that's what he does. Ruben Dodd. Da, 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 da. Trying to think of anything else I want to do. Oh, I will show you one last thing. Let's say you want to manually redo your world. 
I'll show you how to do that real quick once this is done loading. Oh my gosh. All right, we're in. Yeah, get some. All right, out. All right, so foggy. There's a lot of zombies. It is what it is. I'm going to go by this light pole. Oh my gosh. They're coming out of the mist. Ah, ah, ah. Get no, wait. Oh, I heard that bite. <laughs> so he took a bite out of me as I logged off. All right. So I got my character on there, but let's say that you want to reset your server real quick. So let's go back to your server thing. So now everything's running, everything's cool. What I always do is stop your server. Because if you just restart it or you stop it and then you start it, everything's going to be the same minus safe house. Oh, safe houses and factions get wiped when you restart your server. So anytime you stop or stop and start or restart your server, people are going to have to redo their factions and their safe houses. So just be aware of that. So going into the file manager, you go to Zomboid. You go to saves. And this, you'll see this multiplayer folder, right? If you open it up, you'll see server tests. And I think it's got your like characters and stuff in there too. You can go in here and just delete the world and only the world. Um, I forget how to do that off the top of my head. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and delete the whole thing. This deletes worlds and characters. It just refreshes your server. Just delete that puppy. Okay. All right. Now, remember, your, your config is in the server folder. So that's still going to be whatever you set it to. All right. So while your server is stopped, if you want to change your configuration, do it then. Like, you know, change it all up here because it's going to pull information off of here to do that. So now that you've deleted that, multi that uh, multiplayer folder out of saves, all you do, just start it. And it's going to automatically populate that folder. It's going to put another one in there. The bam. So I got a PID looking good. All right, so it's probably going to say not responding. Yeah, so it's still booting up here. Now, if this works, when I log in, I'm going to have to remake my character because we deleted that world. Give it a second here. Refresh. Refresh. But yeah, I, I really like the Pink Perfect guys. The prices are pretty good. Uh, they do monthly. And they, uh, they're they really easy. And the support guys like got right back to me. I was having trouble with this uh initially because i wasn't my issue it turns out was i was just doing the steam beta and i didn't go to the command line manager and change it you need to do that um and so i kept uploading and uploading and uploading and it kept showing me that i was in build 40 and i was like i don't understand but uh i sent them a message a little server SOS, and they rep they replied like within 30 minutes. I think it was like 14 minutes they replied, and they and they wound up uh, showing me how to do it. So they're really cool. Boom! There we go. So let's see. Let's join the server. If this worked right, I should have to redo my guy. Joining game. Yep. See. Boom. Got to remake my guy. So that'll give you a fresh world if you do it like that. Uh, trying to think of anything else I should tell you. Uh, mods. Uh, so mods are being weird right now. Uh, if you go into mods, let me do one that I know is messed up. I don't know any that are super messed up. Maybe... Maybe test? No. I don't know, but so if you got mods, right, and they're not working, one way to see if what's going on, right, is like when you enable and disable mods, see that little blue thing up here in the top 
top right where it says reloading Lua. It'll reload your mods. And if there's so much as a single line of code that's messed up, it's not going to load your mod at all when you go to start a game or put on a server, right? And now it doesn't exactly tell you what's wrong, but it will at least tell you that something is wrong is down here at the bottom right where it says version 40, you know, the version of your game and stuff. If when you go to do that, come on, there's got to be a mod that I can use that's messed up. Let me just like enable all. Maybe one will be messed up. Uh, you'll see this like little red box pop up. Enable it all. Enable it all. Oh my gosh. What happened? Okay, do you see that right down here? Error six. That means that somewhere in all those mods, there's six lines of code that are messed up. So that means that, oh, 84 now. So you see that? that like, one of these mods is screwing up hard, or if not all of them. But so if, if you enable a mod, like sometimes you might have to do them one mod at a time to see which one it is if you've got multiple mods. But if that error box pops up, there's a high chance that that mod's not going to load. So just be ready for that. Oh, my God, disable all these. And uh, lastly, last thing I can think of is when you're doing your thing here, when you're creating a – oops, wait, wait, wait. I'm just kidding. Edit. When you're doing this part, if you go to Steam Workshop, you can add mods in there, right? So you can put my mod, Danger Moodles, in there. You'll be cool like everybody else. Everybody's doing it. And then when you save it, you'll see it. It's in your thing. All right, so server test has been changed. Do you want to reload it? Yep, boom. Did you see that? Mods, danger moodles. We'll put it in there. So as long as you do it through Steam Workshop, then when somebody goes to join your server, uh, it'll say here what mods there are. Like, Let's see if somebody else has, a, has something I can show you. Yeah, see, this dude's got whatever that is, 87 Cruiser, so on and so forth. When you try to join, it'll prompt you, and it'll it'll get Steam to download those mods for you. So that's all you got to do for mods. Just remember, like, if you want, check them first before you start your thing. Like, go into your game just on the screen here and, like, you know, enable some stuff maybe. And then when you back out and it reloads, if, a, if that red box pops up, it's probably not going to load up. But that's how you do it, man. Ping perfect. Get your server rolling. Get all zomboid. Pop it up there. And it'll it'll show up right here on the internet too, right? So let me see. I'll put ping. It might take a while, but it will show up. Any day now. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Boom, there it is. So you're right in the internet thing, and then people can join it all they want. I don't know if I want to go through this whole list to find where it is, but if you type it out, it'll be in there. See, yeah, there it is. I got mine in favorites, so I can get in there quick. That's how you do it, guys. You set it up, boom, from there you're good to go. Um, as they're changing the thing, you'll have to update it accordingly or just stick in that legacy version if you don't want to be bothered with being up to date with all the updates. Because like I said, it's probably going to wipe your world whenever you have to uh, go in here. And it tells you right here, too. Like Somewhere it tells you. But it, it says somewhere when you do this, it tells you to you know, to be careful because it's probably going to wipe your world out. But that's how you do it. There you go. Good luck, everybody. Try to stay alive out there, and uh, maybe we'll see you on our server. Peace.